In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get 45,000 XP really fast by farming the Cyclops in Skellige. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the tips and tricks to crush The Witcher 3. So the Cyclops is located next to a place of power and also uh, some Witcher school gear. And he's a level 30 character that respawns. And he'll respawn if you just meditate just for one hour and because he's a big monster he gives you 25 xp on death march and 50 xp on just the story or easier difficulties if you want to really boost your xp all the way up to level 36 this is a great way to do it uh, you should be able to kill him in a minute uh, using deadly precision adrenaline burst and trick shot with your crossbow. Uh, I think Mihao has a video about uh, how you can put all your points into the, the bomb tree if you take a potions of clearance, but I recommend this uh, deadly precision route where you spam your signs so that you get three points of adrenaline and then you have a six percent chance of killing him when you're at full adrenaline with your crossbow and you can shoot him pretty easily. One of your red skills is lightning reflexes, then it slows down your aiming but you really don't even need that just as long as you have trick shot adrenaline burst and the two point 32 points in the combat tree deadly precision then you should take him out really easily with the crossbow so depending on how efficient you get with this uh if you're down a marble forest then your spamming of the signs will be quicker and also if you have a, a tawny owl to 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 make your uh, generation better and this would be even better if you had the ancient lesion decoction that you could down at the beginning of right after your meditation ancient lesson allows you to spam your signs faster but that's like a level 22 quest so might you might not have that it's not necessary it just it just makes the adrenaline building quicker so i'm not a super fan of xp farming in the witcher 3 because you, of the witcher 3's discounting if you're six levels above the quest then you only get one fifteenth of the points right so there's a big disincentive to xp farm in the witcher 3 nevertheless there are times where you might want to have a higher level armor set or something like that or you need just one more ability points to unlock another slot or something like that and you're thinking of a big boss fight such as the battle of Kaer Morhen or you know the final boss fight of the game you know maybe you want to have the master crafted level armor and you want to get to that next level so you can unlock it so that type of thing I, I can see where you're coming from there he drops some coins and some alchemy items so if you farm a level you also get quite a quite a lot of money from that too so i think you can get uh you know conceivably you could start this once you get the griffin school swords you should have no problem with the pirates and destination skellige and you can farm him uh right away then there you know that you probably run into some harpies on your way to him he's located uh between uh red gill and whale graveyard and i think there's harpies uh, on either side but if you've got the griffin school swords and you should have no problem so that's a total of forty five thousand five hundred points between uh level 11 and level 36 once you get to level 36 you'll only get like one xp or two xp depending whether you're playing on death march lower xp uh versus just the story higher xp and obviously you want to equip a trophy a monster trophy that gives you five percent bonus on xp so that'd be 27 xp every time you kill him uh, on death march or 53 on just the story so I'm kind of skeptical that you can kill him with the bombs like Mihao did, uh, but you can't. it's also not a very flexible build. Whereas uh, this Deadly Precision build, since it's big in the Swords Tree, it's going to really amp up your Swords Power too. So it's it's not like you have to take a new potion of clearance to get rid of it. You'll probably want to keep Deadly Precision throughout your playthrough. Whereas if you had a bombs build, that would just not be feasible because you just would get torn to pieces because your sword skills would be so poor. So let's say for argument that you did go to Skellige at level 11, then 
you're able to get all the Velen Novigrad place of power, which is eight, plus the White Orchard places of power. There's another seven places of power you can get in Skellige that are not locked in main quests. And that's more than enough. You you have enough ability points just in White Orchard, Velen Novigrad, plus level 11 to do this 34-point build. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the tips and tricks to crush The Witcher 3.